Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live on this sell-off Monday. NASDAQ down 3%, leading the major averages lower. Our Jared Blickery is on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. What are you seeing this morning, Jared? Well, lots of red. We had a great opening bell, by the way. Uh, lots of enthusiasm, Adam, Adam, excuse me. So thanks to the good folks at AZEC for that. But aside from that, let's go to the Wi-Fi Interactive kind of chart where we are. Well, we had a big sell-off on Friday afternoon. And as Brad was saying, uh, that doesn't presage very good things for the week ahead. A lot of times that could, uh, Friday afternoon is kind of a no-brainer. You just kind of go away for the weekend. Did not happen. We are now at the lows, 52-week uh, lows, not only for stocks, but also in the indices for the Dow. Maybe we're there right now. Uh, not, yeah, it doesn't look like we're quite there, but also the NASDAQ. So we're trying to figure out which direction we're heading. Obviously, the short-term direction is down. And what is the actual buy signal? Now, here's volatility. Here's the VIX. And we are creeping up above 30. Not creeping. We are surging above 30 right now towards these highs. And I'll tell you another thing. This is a very important week full of volume for the markets. We have S&P 500 rebalance at the end of the week, along with a bunch of others. And that is going to provide a lot of opportunity for traders, large traders and institutions to juggle their portfolios. And that could be what's happening this week. So uh, the good news is we're probably going to see a bottom in the next week or two, but we don't know at what price level that's going to do uh, come. So here's the ICE B of A move index that has been on the rise as well. Here is the bond market, 10 year T-note yield now at 3.28%. And if you think that's high, look at the five year it's 3.41 percent so incredible movement there uh, just in general when we have a lot of bond market volatility that often spills over into the broader markets and we know that quantitative tightening right now is removing liquidity from the system and we got that big fed meeting on wednesday so this is a huge pivotal week for the markets if jay powell says one Slightly bullish thing will probably rally, but that's not guaranteed to happen. Here's the U.S. dollar index. We are now at the highest point in years. This is a two-month chart. Let's take it to a 20-year to see exactly where we could be going. If we break through current uh, resistance, we have not decisively broken through just yet. Uh, probably going to head back up to 128 or 120. That is a huge move in the dollar index, and that could presage lower prices for equities, guys.